The first piece of mine that was performed by Juventus was a song cycle about a young girl who leaves home for the first time, discovers men, gets her heart broken, and finds inner strength uh, through the process. And this new piece felt like a continuation of that story, both for this young girl and for me. I wrote that first song cycle when I was in college and I'm now 26 years old. So I have a little bit of life under my belt. And the melody for this new piece that the piece kind of centers around literally came to me in a dream. I occasionally dream about full pieces of new music and I rarely remember them when I wake up, which is super frustrating. But I tried really hard to remember this melody and when I had it written down, I sent it to Anne Howarth, our horn player, to see how it sounded on horn. And she sent me a recording and it honestly sounded even more beautiful than I remembered it being in my dream. So then my next step for this piece was to find a text and I found this poem by Emma Lazarus that stood out to me firstly because we share a name but secondly because Emma Lazarus was talking about a dream just like this melody that I had found in a dream and thirdly because Emma Lazarus was talking about a woman and I found this incredibly moving I did a little bit of research about Emma Lazarus and it turns out that she died when she was 38 years old and she never married. And I started thinking about her life and how it would have been for her to go through an entire lifetime not being able to fully express herself or being able to be with the person that she loved and I really focused in on the part of this poem where Emma Lazarus seems to say that the only place that you can find happiness or that she could find happiness was in death. So I spent a couple of weeks thinking about that. They were a very emotional couple of weeks for me, but I wrote a lot of music in that space and it felt very personal and very vulnerable. Uh, so that experience was how Assurance was born. The first part of this piece is an introduction where Emma Lazarus tells us that she has been dreaming. And in this introduction, I put the first little fragment of the melody that came to me in a dream, which I will from now on call the dream melody. So you'll hear the first little bit of the dream melody in the horn, and this is gonna keep cropping up throughout the piece. The second part of the piece is a description of Emma Lazarus's dream world, which is mysterious and ethereal and has this wondrous unknown quality. In the third part of the piece, you'll hear the dream melody in its entirety for the first time. And it's also the emotional finale of the piece where the dream woman speaks for the first time. And she says, and didst thou dream this could be sleep and love be thrall to death? Nay, what so seem, have faith, dear heart. This is the thing that is. And it struck me that the idea that you, true happiness, that true reality is found more in a dream than in someone's life was inspiring and devastating and heartbreaking. And it meant a lot to me to be able to think about those ideas and how Emma Lazarus must have been feeling at that time and how privileged I am to be able to live my life as it is now. And honestly, how privileged I am to be able to share this story with you all. And so in the last part of the piece, we go back to the beginning as Emma Lazarus wakes up and it concludes much as it began. I am so grateful to Oliver Kaplan and the whole Juventus family for believing in me. And I hope that you enjoy Assurance. <laughs>